Or Shapira has the protest, uh, was at the protest uh, to get a first hand view. More than 30 years after they first arrived in Israel, Ethiopian Jews still feel neglected and discriminated against. But in the last few days, their protest has shifted to another level as they held a series of demonstrations against what they claim is racism and police brutality toward them. We want to express our anger at what is going on for 30 years. We don't want racism, we want equality. Hundreds of people attended this rally outside one of the most recognized malls in the city, perhaps a symbol for the growing gap between those walking in the upper floors and this community that cries for recognition and equal rights. Parliament members came to support them. This is the Israeli society's fight, and we need to be here to make sure that there is no discrimination in the Israeli society. It doesn't only have to do with any kind of police violence. If there was such, it needs to be taken care of. Although Ethiopian Jews, also known as Falashas, began coming to Israel in the 1960s, in 1985 and 1991, Israel carried out two military operations to bring them from the war-torn African country. Today, the community in Israel numbers 120,000. But over the years, it seems they have been neglected and their anger and frustration are rising. The peak was reached last Thursday when 14 protesters were injured by police in Jerusalem protest. This massive protest took place after a video showing two police officers beating a Jewish Ethiopian soldier. The police say they respect all minorities. We have a special sensitivity to his community. They didn't get permission for this protest. However, we still allow them to protest and to block the roads. However, not everybody is convinced. I look at the news from Baltimore and I think, this cannot happen in my country. A day goes by and I realize that this is happening in my country. Perhaps it's too easy to compare this protest to a possible inspiration for it, the wave of demonstrations in Baltimore, U.S., over the killing of a young African-American in police custody. True, no one here has been killed yet, but when it comes to treatment of minorities, the anger is similar.